Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, and we're going to start the vlog a little bit different today. No, it's not any different. Yeah, we do end up spending a lot of time at the gas pumps uh, with a used car dealership or probably any car dealership. You sell a car, you fill it up for them. Uh, you do a test drive two or three times and the gas is gone, so you got to fill it back up again. Uh, but even on our own shop truck, I find that I'm there at least you know once a week filling it up, 100 bucks. So in comparison, I came back to the office. I did a little bit of uh, calculation to find out what uh, the price per gallon equivalent is versus buying my gas on the American side. See over here in Canada we pay by the liter and a Canadian Imperial gallon is bigger than an American gallon. All that aside what it boils down to is that in Canada we pay the equivalent of about three dollars and twenty cents per gallon which would be the same size American gallon as what you guys do in the US and uh, I'm curious as to what you guys pay so in the comment section below let me know how much you pay for gas and where you're from and uh, we'll compare that based on geography right in Calus, which is just across the border in the US their average right now I believe is somewhere around uh, 260 or so uh, per gallon so let me know So we just got a phone call about a cancellation for a 4 o'clock appointment to get the white Ford Escape, the 2012 that I sold on Sunday, uh, to get it undercoated. So I'm going to get Dad to pick me up, uh, up at Casey's and we'll get that undercoated so we can get the customers going in it. You want to pick me up at Dean's? Alright, I'm going up right now. Conditioned kind of day. Casey's. So we are in the 2012 Ford Escape that I sold last weekend and they'll be, they'll be picking this vehicle up uh, tomorrow and as promised I wanted to show you how this thing parallel parks itself using the park assist. So there is a button right here that says auto park so I'm going to turn that on and on the screen it comes up and it says active park searching. So all I've got to do is pull ahead and it's going to measure this space that I've created for the vehicle. And now it's telling me that the space has been found to pull forward, stop, remove hands and put in reverse. So it's in reverse. As you can see, my hand is right here. And all I'm going to do is control the gas and brake feed. backup sensor is measuring how close I am to the shop truck and as you can see by the backup camera put it in drive and I can 
pull forward and bing 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 active park finished just like that junior wants to try it out here so there's a button right in front of the shifter that says park aid yep, yep. so put it in drive and it will tell you that it's active park searching so all you got to do is drive slow as it measures the parking space and it will tell you when to stop it'll beep at you keep going okay put her in reverse hands off the wheel Watch where you're going, you gotta know when to stop. Slick as snot. Just leave it here? Yep. Alright. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool. I'm impressed, but. I got a small brain, so it doesn't take much. So FedEx was just here and dropped me off a package. Anybody care to take a guess what it is? That's right. It's my warranty replacement. GoPro Hero 6. So for those of you who don't know the story, I'm going to put the card right here so you can go back and watch it. But basically, I bought a brand new GoPro Hero 6 and right out of the box, uh, it wasn't working properly. It was resetting every time I turned it on. But today, after two months, it was Mar uh, April the 27th is when I sent it away. And today, it finally shows up. So we are in the 2014 Kia Soul and we're getting ready to head down to the Civic Center because this weekend is the Kiwanis Trade Show and we've got a couple of vehicles that we're going to be posting down there. This is one of them and uh, that's where we'll be kind of working from, from 4 to 9 on Friday and from 10 to 4 I believe on Saturday. So if you're in the area and you want to come out and check out the different uh, businesses in uh, St. Stephen area then come on down to the Garland Civic Center and uh, our booth is in the corner in the back so you'll be able to see us no problem with this big bright red 2014 Kia Soul. I'll also have the 2014 uh, Nissan Rogue. At least I'm hoping to because we don't know how much room we're going to have. Uh, so I'm heading down there now to see if we can squeeze two in. If not one will be fine and the brightest one the lot is the one that will do the trick. So. Uh, that's where we're going right now. So she's a tight squeeze getting this rig down into the uh, into our booth which is way down here in the corner. But we're gonna do it. All right, guys, we are at the Garrisland Civic Center and we are all set up for the trade show. As you can see, we've got the 14 Nissan Rogue and the 14 Kia Soul that we bought last week. We're all set up and we'll have some videos showing of our YouTube channel. And uh, we got our big sign there 
and we're all set to go. trade show still seems to be a really good crowd uh, we're giving away lots of pens lots of people filling out ballots and as you can see I've got my I've got my YouTube videos playing in the background hopefully we can get some exposure here as well so getting ready to strike her out because Bill's gonna come and leave me for a while and we'll back at her again tomorrow That is it for a trade show for 2018. We're just getting ready to close up shop here. Um, it is 3.22 and things shut down here at about 4 o'clock. So we're going to start putting some things away and I can get home, get some videos edited for you and we can take a look and see what everything's all about. All right. Thank you very much. See ya.